Okay, so it rained quite a lot this morning, so we decided we'd have um, a good day of inputting some data and uh, really get ourselves back up to date with everything we found. So uh, come and have a look at um, this how we do our data. So first we've got Laura, who's working on our habitat classifications. Um, I'm comparing the habitats that we found on the island to the IUCN classification um, list um, to help people that are visiting the island in the future. Great. We've got uh, Hannah, our botanist, and she's working on the main finds that we've had in that field. Hannah? Uh, so, yeah, I'm just inputting the locations of orchids and pitcher plants that we've found so far, um, and including details as to if it's flowering or not to the future expeditions. Then go along the same trails and know where an orchid was, and hopefully they'll be there when it's flowering to help with ideas. Excellent. Right, just come round here. We'll talk to Sarah, who's our avifauna specialist. What are you doing, Sarah? Hi, I am um, identifying birds that we didn't actually manage to identify in the field, but we managed to get a shot of them, and they all look very similar, so having shots can definitely help when we come back to camp to identify them. Good stuff. Right, let's go around the other side of the table and see what those guys are up to. So next we have Rihanna Bray, our mammal specialist. What are you up Hello. to, Rio? Um I'm just recording the mammals that we've seen so far. However, some of the mammals, such as the crab-eating macaque, we've only heard from when we were in the forest. So we're hoping to get a boat to the middle of the island sometime this week so that we can actually see the um, macaque, as we've heard that there's more, po uh, more mammals of them down there. Good stuff. Right, last but not least, we have Ed Ivory Cook, who is our entomologist. And uh, you look like you're having quite a lot of fun there, right? what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just uh, taking a photo of a specimen that we collected earlier today. Um, so I've just brought it back, put it in the uh, studio box, and just using a um, high power flash to get the detail out so we can put it on our ID sheets. So it's uh, easy to identify. Excellent. Well, there you go. There's a good little insight into uh, how we write up our data. 